Hello science fans! Did you know that in Metro Manila, we throw away 2,175 tons of food every day? What? Shocking, right? Food waste is a big problem because it's like pouring valuable resources down the drain, contributing to hunger, harming the environment, wasting our money, and encouraging too much production and consumption. The problem seems simple enough, but there is more to it than just eating all the food on your plate and making sure nothing goes to waste. What's the big deal about food waste anyway? Before I answer this question using science, let me first say hi to our new viewers. My name is Chana and I'm your resident Filipina scientist. I'm a researcher who develops practical technologies to help our fishers and farmers produce more food with less waste. I'm also a teacher who loves showing my students sustainable ways of going on with their daily lives to lessen our negative impact on the environment. Enciencia is my science communication channel where I try to show people how ruining the environment is equal to ruining our lives. Now let's dive deeper as to why food waste is a much bigger problem than what we think it is. When we throw away food, we are also wasting the resources used to produce it, like water, energy, and land. This is like filling up a bathtub and then letting all the water go down the drain without even using it. Please remember also that many people around the world don't have enough to eat. When we waste food, it's like having extra food on our plates and not sharing it with someone who's actually hungry. <coughs> throwing away food also means throwing away our money. I mean, we spend our hard-earned money on buying groceries. So if we throw a lot of them away, it's like throwing away the money we used to buy it. <sighs> Rotting food in landfills also produces harmful greenhouse gases, like methane, which contribute to climate change. So wasting food harms the environment and makes global warming worse. But it's not just about converting this food waste into compost and fertilizers. When we waste food, it encourages the companies that produce more of the food to produce more. And this can add pressures to our environment and lead to more wasted resources. <coughs> so if we want to reduce food waste, we have to know where they're coming from. Because it's not just your plate. Food waste can occur during the agricultural production and harvesting stages. Due to factors such as crop diseases, pests, weather conditions, and inefficient farming practices. For example, some fruits and vegetables are unharvested or discarded because they have some imperfections or do not meet the size requirements of retailers. And then, food processing and manufacturing industries may generate waste when processing raw ingredients into food products. This can include trimming, peeling, and discarding parts of fruits, vegetables, and meat that are not part of the final food product. Food can also be wasted during distribution and at retail stores. This can happen due to spoilages, damage during transport, or overstocking wherein products are not sold by their expiration dates. Retailers may also discard products that have cosmetic imperfections or are close to their expiration dates. Unsold food in grocery stores, supermarkets, and restaurants are often discarded, contributing significantly to food waste. Some organizations and initiatives are working to redirect surplus food to those in need through food banks and shelters. And finally, when we're ready to eat, restaurants, cafeterias, and especially buffets can contribute to food waste by portion sizes, overproduction, and plate waste. Leftovers that are not consumed by customers will be discarded. Oh no, God! But then, a significant portion of food waste happens at the household level. Consumers often throw away food that has spoiled, gone bad, or passed its expiration date. Additionally, improper storage and lack of food planning can lead to unnecessary food waste. Large gatherings, events, and catering services can also generate substantial amounts of food waste. 
these events often lead to the production of excess food that are often thrown away after the event has been completed. It feels like such a huge problem, but it's not hopeless. There are a lot of things we can do and support in order to help solve this problem. At the individual level, we can start by planning our meals and making a shopping list to buy only what we need. This helps us avoid impulse purchases that often end up wasted. We need to store food properly also to keep it fresh longer. Let's invest in good airtight containers and be mindful of expiration dates. Something that's useful for both our health and the environment is to serve smaller portions and only take what we can eat. I mean, even if you're not on a diet, you can always go back for seconds if you're still hungry. We can also get creative with leftovers by turning them into new meals. For example, leftover vegetables can be turned into a delicious stir-fry or even soup. And if you have excess food that you can't consume, consider donating it to food banks or shelters instead of throwing it away. Now, we cannot solve the problem of food waste as individuals. We also need to advocate for big businesses to improve supply chain practices to reduce food losses during production, transportation, and distribution. Companies must train employees in food services and retailers to minimize waste through portion control, proper inventory management, and proper storage. There should be incentives for restaurants, supermarkets, and food producers to partner with organizations to donate excess unsold food to those in need. And the STEM community can also collaborate with the business community by developing innovations that improve packaging and lessen food spoilage. Our national and local governments must also play a part in reducing food waste. Governments can create policies that encourage the reduction of food waste such as the giving of incentives for donating excess food or restrictions on food disposal. Information campaigns about the importance of reducing food waste should also start with the government. They should also support initiatives that redistribute surplus food to charities and other organizations serving people in need. And of course, our country needs to invest more in research and innovation to find new technologies and methods for reducing food waste. Reducing food waste also needs international cooperation, particularly in the issues of food distribution and trade. International regulations and sharing of best practices that promote resource-efficient agricultural practices and sustainable farming methods to reduce environmental impact of food production must be done. Global alliances can also support efforts that aim to reduce post-harvest losses that often happen in developing countries due to lack of infrastructure for proper food storage. So, the situation is not hopeless. At least, not yet. But what do you think? How can we motivate communities to work together to lessen food waste? And what other tips can you give to households so that they can lessen the food that they waste on a daily basis? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.